Hi everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to achieve some really quick um, and easy bridal looks, uh, bridal hair that can go along with the makeup that I showed you the other day. Um, I've got three looks to show you, which are here. And obviously you want to use a protection spray for your hair if you're using heat products and choose um, some lovely finishing products to go with it and um, some nice hairspray. And you can take your time with your hair as well um, and make sure it's an, a lot neater looking than mine is today. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So first of all, I'm just going to take a, a side part in with a pointed comb and just clip this hair over to the one side and then taking a section just from behind this part in around to behind the, cr the crown I'm going to clip this out the way as well you're going to now want to tie any um, remaining hair um, out of your way. You're then going to want to split this back section into two and drop the bottom section. Now with this we're just going to back comb underneath lightly. Just going to pull down three times and spritz that with some hairspray. Then you're going to collect this, the bottom part that you dropped just twist this slightly and then if you push this forward with your hands we are then going to just clip this into place with some um, curvy grips now take out the bobble out of your hair and if you need to thicken your hair up a little bit, um, you can use just a rolled up pair of tights that are similar colour to your hair colour and place this on the back of your head whilst you roll your um, hair around it. I'm now going to gather all of my hair, apart from the bit that we've clipped to the side here, and bring this gently with my fingers and just begin to twist it. I'm going to pull that up towards the ceiling and you can see that it's started to curve around. After you've twisted all of your hair you want to bend this back on itself and make sure that all of this hair is going to go inside the wrap. So all I'm going to do is just place that hair on top Comb this around and then on this side we're just going to clip the hair into place so just with a clip I'm just going to clip this clip the one side down onto the base of your head if you spritz this with a bit of hairspray and then with a smoothing brush, just smooth all of that hair into place. Then with the hair that you have left, you can either curl this, or what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a slight twist in, into it, and just clip this back. And here's the finished look. Okay, so starting with the side parting again, I'm just going to clip this out of the way. And then take a small section from about your temple, bring it back to in line with your ear and then over the top of your crown and clip this out of the way.
Now you can use a smoothing brush or a comb for this and I'm going to use a smoothing brush and you're just going to sweep your hair back and tie this into a bobble. Then with this top section that we took, you'll just want to split that into two where your parting is. And then we're going to comb this through. And then put a slight twist into this. Now you can either leave this go over the top of your ear, or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that slightly back and clip that into place. Just going to do the same with this other section, brush it through. twist and then clip into place. Now with the fringe we're going to apply the same method but I'm going to leave this forward slightly so I'm going to bring it across my face then begin to twist and just clip at the side here. Now with the remainder of your hair you'll just want to take small sections comb these through and then begin to roll from the top so we just take it between the two fingers create a small loop and then continue to roll your hair all the way down until you get the, to the position you would like to clip it so I'm just going to clip this one up quite high up here and clip that into place We're going to continue that all the way over the head. And then we're also going to curl some curls in the opposite direction. So this one I'm going to pull this under and then clip these into place just here and keep continuing with that process until all of your hair is clipped up okay for this look I'm just going to um, take hold of all of my hair at the back leave any parts that fall down naturally and tie this in a loose bobble. Then with wide comb and these small plated GHDs I'm just going to take sections of the hair, comb through, clamp and then turn, turn the iron at least 180 degrees and then pull down. And you want to do this for the whole of the ponytail. Once you have curled all of your hair, we're going to go back to these front sections and curl these um, away from the face. So start with the front. You're going to clamp, push under and pull down and do this for all of the hair here. I'm also going to pull down a section of hair from the front of the ear and I'm going to curl this as well. Repeat this process on the other side. Now with these front pieces, you're just going to want to take the curl and 
gently place this a little bit further back on your head and clip into place so that you've got a curl on top of your hair. And continue this until you've just got a small bit of hair down the front. And the same with the other side, just placing into place and clipping down. Okay, then with the ponytail, you're just going to want to take up a small bit of hair at a time and just clip this very loosely to the top of the head. This is going to be a lot easier if you don't have long hair. And continue this all over the head, all over with the ponytail. And then if you've got too many ends hanging down, just clip these into place, making sure that you, you're not um, destroying the curl. Okay everyone, um, I hope you enjoyed those three easy and quick tutorial looks and I hope it's not as daunting now that you know you can um, easily achieve them at home. Um, thank you for all your lovely comments and suggestions and thank you very much for watching. Bye!